Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> so, this one's going to be a little choppy. I'm just going to be honest with you. For some reason, I couldn't download this video. I'm not sure if that's something to do on her end, um, but it just won't let me do it. So, I'm watching it directly on the screen. Um, I haven't refreshed the page or anything. I don't know. I really don't know. But, like, the views keep going up and everything. So, it should be fine. I just, I don't know why it's not working. But, yeah. Thank you so much for tuning on in, you guys. I truly do appreciate ya. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe, become a channel member. So for this video, we're looking at full day of eating at 330 pounds. Day one, no fast food. Do we really believe she's 330 pounds? Really? Okay, foodie. Yeah, no, totally, girl. You're totally losing weight eye roll <laughs> anyways y'all i don't want to waste any time and i'm feeling put on the spot i wasn't going to record this until probably like tomorrow honestly or tonight but gotta do it now so let's just get this over with <laughs> hello foodie beauties <laughs> oh god it's gonna be a cooking video wonderful Oh, but girl, I thought you didn't like eggs. And with all that oil, ew. Really? She just popped it right in the pan? Heathen. There really is, like, no audio during this part, really? This is weird. <laughs> Collagen, dude. Yeah. All right, I have my three-in-one with collagen. Ew. I have a big bottle of cold water. I have my medicines. I have to take my vitamins. Look at her on a all of a sudden health kick. Hmm, I wonder what could have spurred this. Stop. Bruh, she already looks so fed up. <laughs> Welcome. Two. Oh, hey foodie. We didn't really get one of those, did we? Another video. And my mukbang yesterday, my Burger King breakfast one. Bruh, disgusting. You had breakfast and lunch. So, before I say that, I have to take my metformin with breakfast and then with dinner. So, that's what I'm going to do. Incredible. Those pills are huge. If any of you have a problem swallowing pills, you're going to, I don't know, have a hard time. So I have a light Activia apricot and peach yogurt, and you saw me make my breakfast sandwich. So, Bismillah. Let's see if I make it better than Burger King. I don't know. I mean, girl, how are you gonna mess up an egg and cheese? Mm -hmm. To be honest, hers probably still has less grease in it. My cat has extreme zoomies right now, so. Um, I'm sorry, all that long hair all over. Ugh. It would drive me insane. You wanna say hi? I got you! I got you! <laughs> Scratch her. Get her You Julia. wanna go zoom, don't you? Such a cute cat. Go zoom. I like the, the yolk. I don't like egg white. <laughs> Go figure. Which I know the the white is the healthier part, whatever. <laughs> There's no whatever to it, girl. <laughs> it is the healthier part. My God. Not... You should be focusing on your cholesterol. Oh, yeah. That's good. She ain't going to even have any ketchup with it? Like, really? Oh, I have an egg and cheese. I gotta have the ketchup. I'm trying not to eat fast food. 
at least not nearly as much as I was eating it almost every day. What do you mean almost? It was every single day. All right. Good job, girl. Which. Which. What do you have down there? Honestly, um, is it going to be very difficult for me? So, do you hear the pigeon? She's looking. I wonder how long this is going to last. A day, maybe. So it's wheat bread. Put some olive oil in the pan, just made an egg with two yolks. And she has non-stick pans. Why does she need so much oil? Slice yogurt and coffee and water. You're ruining my video. Girl, it was ruined from the start. Don't worry. <laughs> I swear it comes just to taunt my cat. Ugh. Anyways, so this is what I'm going to have for brekkie. Uh, Brecky, okay. It's nine thirty a.m. here. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just show you guys like basically what I eat today. Incredible. Full what I eat today, and uh, that's about it. I'm gonna try to eat every. This isn't gonna be like three mukbangs, is it? God, please no. <laughs> Maybe a few hours, you know breakfast lunch dinner snacks just in order to avoid problems like overeating wait what did that say next meal at yeah i don't know what time that is <laughs> in order to avoid problems like overeating um that's what like 1 p.m and also uh ordering takeout so I'm going to try to eat things here, homemade, healthier things that I make um, to kind of get rid of those cravings for the fast food, at least a little bit. Um, so I guess that's it. I roll. So what? She's going to make a shepherd's pie, some comfort food. I'll see you in the next meal, guys. Bye. Okay, guys. Welcome to. Oh, my God. It is three freaking meals. Oh, Jesus, foodie. You're punishing us. It is just after one. one. I'm having leftover pasta and meatballs. I still have leftovers. A pickle and a little cheese. Now this is like a cheese. Curl what? Um, you know, like a laughing cow cheese or a kiri cheese. So wait, how is this supposed to be healthier? That's so many freaking Brussels sprouts. Jesus Christ. So yes. <laughs> Miss Miller, I have some. Girl, you said that one too late. Brussels sprouts with a little bit of butter. No soy sauce. <laughs> so. Soy sauce. I thought she used Worcestershire. And I have these yogurts that are like expiring, so I'm gonna have one as well, kind Jesus. of like a dessert, low-fat yogurt. Y'all, I didn't even think to clock that the meatballs were pre-made. I mean, no shade to that. I don't think there's anything wrong using pre-made ones. But <laughs> she definitely made it seem more like she made them. I love Brussels sprouts. You guys know? Broccoli and Brussels sprouts. I love them. That freaking washing machine, dude. Oh, my God. I was literally thinking to myself, like, what the hell is that? Literally sounds like a jet taking off. But now the leftovers are finally finished. I wouldn't say this is well balanced though, girl. Like, she's still having a lot of carbs. If you hear what sounds like a jet engine, it's my laundry. That's crazy. I did some vacuuming, I mopped my floor. Mmm. I don't believe she did that all in one day. <laughs> so, of course, it just so happens to coincide that when Foodie's going to get her act together food-wise, allegedly, that's when she's also going to actually clean her apartment. Go figure. A <laughs> oh, girl is just in an upswing. That's all it is. 
I was moving things around in the kitchen earlier and a lid from a pot fell on the ground and smashed. My kitchen was covered in little shards of glass. Oh God. Hopefully Salah came out and helped because I don't trust that she could get everything cleaned up and keep Julia away and all that. And I had to clean the floor thoroughly. I was so, I was so paranoid, you know? <laughs> you got a little lisp. So <laughs> that someone besides me, Salah or the cat, step on something and like it fell, right? From kind of like the counter. I don't have an undercap on, so my hijab looks weird, but so it like. Oh, don't worry, hon. It looks weird every day. Exploded. That's not the first time that's happened. I have a very small space in my kitchen, like with too many pots. So I have a grocery order coming. Bro, no wonder Salah doesn't want to be around her at all when she eats. Like, could you imagine? <laughs> and also, this just kind of goes to confirm that Foodie literally eats all of her meals by herself in front of the camera. That's freaking sad. Between six and nine, I ordered some things like, you know, healthier things I can have. Yeah, like what? You know, like buying a bag of chicken breast, for example. Okay. So I can cook a few breasts to make chicken salad, chicken salad sandwiches, that kind of thing. Okay, I guess. So again, just to let you guys know, because I did get asked a question like this. What is your plan for cutting back on the fast food? Are you getting any support? That is a huge change, not easy. Um, I'm basically just focusing on, I'm not counting calories right now. Shocker. When has she ever? Let's be so for real. I'm just focusing on eating every few hours full satisfying like meals to keep me from wanting to overeat on junk and want to order out. Girl, just shovel it in. And I'm trying to make my meals and eat like what I have. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna have for dinner. If we do order. Girl, you shouldn't be ordering out at all, okay? Doesn't matter really if it's fast food or not. You just shouldn't order out. Unless you're going to get a salad. It's not going to be fast food. And you're literally getting groceries. Like, come on. That. And it's very hard for me to control foods like that. So I'm just working on the food part. And then when I don't feel overwhelmed by that, I can add in another good habit to start. Eye roll. It's never going to get to that point. So yeah, this is what I'm having for lunch. How much longer? Oh my God. That's a big lunch, girl. That's a big lunch. All right. Yeah. In another couple of hours or so, I'll have maybe a snack. And I'll show you guys what I do end up having. Bye. So I'm caving and having some barbecue sunflower seeds. I just... Damn, that looks like a big bag, too. Fine, like, when I'm watching something, it's so hard not to snack. So I don't know how to get around that. But... I'm gonna have some of these with some water. Girl, your hand like can't even hold stuff properly. Okay, my washer's still- Good Lord, and some more. But I'm having some popcorn with Parmesan cheese, butter, and Ew. powder, and a mango sorbet stick for a snack. Okay. And I put my undercap on top of my hijab. Good Lord, girl. This is the last meal of the Jesus. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely 330 pounds, you guys. <laughs> I know it's brown, it's beige. You guys have something against beige. Like I said, I have a grocery order coming. Should be here soon, actually, because it's getting late. Oh? Girl, what? How long does that shit take? But, um... In the meantime, I have some, uh, I have a chicken filet in the air fryer, some rice aroni chicken flavor that I made, and some tinned beans and tomato sauce, and tomato sauce. I don't know why I'm talking like that. And water, I've had water. You know, I've never had beans and tomato sauce before. It sounds odd to me. I know a lot of my British fans are gonna be coming at me. I get it. I just haven't tried it. But I would be down to try, like, you know, one of those big old, like, 
English breakfasts. I would be down to try that. All day. So. Oh, I hate the sound of cutlery on plates. Uh huh. Did she say what the hell that was? Is it like a pork chop? Oh, she doesn't eat pork. It's probably just chicken. Yeah, I like that brand. Let's try the rice roni. Tastes better than the box. Oh, you know I love these beans. Yeah. I hate the noises right now. So overall today was, I feel kind of like, I'm do, basically doing a no takeout, like no, not no takeout, no fast food challenge. To be fair, I think this is the first time we've ever seen Foodie do an entire day's worth of food with food she made. But I still think I overdid it. Um, you think? A bit with the snacks that are not too healthy and are kind of high, like they are high in sodium. And then all of the carbs that you're having on top of it, dude. It's a lot. So I do feel kind of bad about that. But, you know, tomorrow's another day. This is like the first day I'm not used to, you know, eating. Um, what is happening? You know, it's, I'm not used to eating any structured way. I'm not used to- You couldn't really chop that out? Eating. I mean, I pretty much, you know, would eat fast food almost every day. For every meal. And you're gonna tell me you're 330 pounds. Okay, foodie. I ate it way too much. So I think at least switching to prepare meals that I prepare myself, you know, is a good first step. Yeah, we'll see. If you learn how to cut back on some of that damn b butter <laughs> and oil. And yeah. By the way, how I make my rice aroni, I add some butter uh, and olive oil mix in a pot. And then I take some vermicelli noodles and I saute them until they're, I fry them until they're like this brown color here you see in the rice. And then, um, I add the rice, some garlic powder, onion powder, some chicken broth, and that's pretty much it. Incredible. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I didn't want to sit through three full freaking mukbangs. Oh my Christ. Hope you enjoyed. No. I don't know if I'll do this kind of video every single day, like the whole full day of eating, but we'll see. Girl, please don't. Please don't. Like, actually enjoy some time with this alleged husband of yours. My God. Unless he ain't there. Where the hell's he been at? But I will keep on track of letting you guys know. What was that sentence? <laughs> you know, every day that I'm successful in not eating any fast food, and um so yeah that's about it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye incoming good lord dude literally everything is about food with these women it's a little scary but anyways y'all thank you so much for tuning on in this is going to be a short one oh it's going to be a short one <laughs> good lord but Hey, that's what you get sometimes, ain't it? Thank you so, so much for tuning on in, you guys. I'm gonna go get, not filmed, I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna film it today or not, but I'm gonna be doing the next, like, movie review. We're gonna be dive, deep diving into the Scream franchise. Might as well, right? It's a good fan fave. <laughs> but yeah, thanks so much for tuning on in, you guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe, become a channel member, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.